Hi lovelies. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah Martucci. Um, I'm a psychic medium, a tarot reader, um, a crystal uh, healer, also a psychic medium. Did I already say that? Okay, well, <laughs> these are a couple of the woo-woo things that I do. I also make jewelry. Um, anything with having to do with like rocks and stones, I just love it. So um, yeah, just a sampling of the weird things that I do. Um, and I'm here to bring you the free weekly reading. Uh, this is for the week ahead, uh, February 5th through February 11th of 2018. So woo doggies. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm still recuperating uh, from the plague. <laughs> I got the flu like two weeks ago and it's still like uh, sticking to my system. I still don't feel good. So um, I'm trying here, man. I'm just trying. Um, and I know a lot of people are getting sick. So a lot of people are feeling uh, down and out with their energy. Um, and then also too, last week we had that incredible lunar eclipse. Um, it was like a blue moon um, and a super moon and I think it was red at 1.2. So there's a lot going on. <laughs> and I think that everybody was really feeling super emotional from it. Um, for me personally, a lot of things with uh, relationships were coming up. Um, and I think for a lot of people too. So kind of looking to see uh, where I can improve in my relationships. Uh, what relationships maybe I need to let go of, especially ones in the past that are still kind of dragging me down. And I feel like for me, this is like a forever story or something that I'm like forever working on. I feel like at least once a year, like I'm talking about like those, you know, relationships from the past that um, I need to like let go of or work through and, and release and forgive um, or just to heal in some way, shape or form. So um, again, that's coming up for me. So having to deal with that, having to face that, um, and just to heal myself again. And, and, and I want to say to you guys too, that if you're having that same issue or if like a repeating problem keeps coming up, um, know that something's here for you duh, to heal. But also like, especially if you're dealing with, um, a rough or a hard situation, a lot of times our healing is in layers. It's almost like an onion. Do you know what I mean? So don't beat yourself up if you feel like the same thing uh, keeps showing up for you. Um, what can you do this time to really make it the last time for you to have to face this and to go through it or to respond to it in the same ways that you've been doing? Do you know what I'm saying? So there's something here that needs to change. Maybe it's just your response because that situation is maybe never going to go away or that pain will never actually like fully leave but the way that you respond to it might uh, where it won't hold as much sway over your life as it has like maybe in the past and maybe you've already made like great strides towards that maybe you've already done some beautiful work around that um, maybe this is just like the last thing for you so um, just saying like however that went down for you last week um, and to say that everything is gonna happen on the the lunar eclipse is crazy because lunar eclipses kind of have like a six month range here uh, where we get to see how things play out uh, but we'll definitely get glimpses into what we can expect during that time so um, for me it was really important to go and see a therapist um, so I'm happily going back to therapy again um, it's something that I highly recommend for anybody that's gone or had maybe like a traumatic childhood which I did um, having to deal with that pain and to process it um, and to have a safe space in which to like dump all your shit and like actually just leave it there and not keep carrying it around with you so, um, and, and then also too, with the loss of my grandmother and then, um, two summers ago, uh, helping my friend Janet to cross over. Um, I just had like a lot of grief in my life. So just trying to, you know, confront that and work through it and, and to help the relationship with myself get more solid so that my relationships outside of myself can grow and be more solid too, which is really important to me. So... Um, I'm happy to be doing the work, um, anything to help myself and I'm motivated to heal where some previous years, maybe I could have said that, you know, so there's something different about this time. And if you guys are feeling the same thing, no matter what is going on for you, maybe it's not about your relationships. Um, maybe it's about your money situation. Do you know what I mean? It depends on, uh, with the eclipse where it felt and what houses it was falling in for you. So, um, yeah, some deep some deep rough stuff is coming up, but again, I'm in a better, even better space than I was a year before and the year before that to really deal with it. And, and maybe this time I can have some solid, some true solid, like letting go of crap and or healing from it, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, but other than that, we're still in Aquarius season. So being weird and being strange is all the rage right now. <laughs> So I know like big stuff with like kids eating Tide Pods has been all over the place. I mean, it has been for a couple of weeks, but still, um, just 
things being strange and things being weird just take it's it's totally on par with Aquarius season. Uh, Uranus is a is a planet that's sudden change, sudden movement, sudden transition, um, flashes of insight, um, really being a rebel with the cause, um, as well as uh, radical change. So, I mean, these are all kind of the themes right now, so it makes sense if you're having a lot of that stuff come up for you too. Um, also with the with Aquarius, um, this is a sign that's uh, deeply, deeply like an individual, but finds comfort and happiness and joy in the crowd so uh, and like a bigger picture and like a bigger group of people so um, you know don't be afraid this week or remind yourself that the inner work that you do um, also affects other people uh, and your group your group structures around you so the more that you heal the more healing you can add back into the group structure how beautiful is that you know all right so let's get to the cards all right so if you Always, always, always with the cards. Um, pick one, pick two, pick all three. It does not matter. This is about your intuition and about what you feel. So make sure that you just pick the card um, that best kind of vibes with you, okay? So this is going to be card number one. And this is going to be card number two. Make sure I don't actually show you the image before. Okay. <laughs> Struggle so real with me. And this will be card number three. <laughs> oh, almost did it again there too. Okay. <laughs> Give you guys a couple seconds to kind of decide which ones that you want. Um, so yeah, I was kind of nervous going into therapy because I was like, God, I've done this. I mean, I've been going to therapy for a long time now, especially if you have a traumatic childhood and you've dealt with a lot of trauma in your life, like you really should be going into therapy and talking with somebody and finding uh, good ways to deal with your stuff and to help you to unload and unpack and actually let go. Um, not just carry the stuff around and just repackage it maybe in a nicer way. Um, so yeah, I was kind of nervous going in there, but um, I really met an incredible therapist and I'm super happy with her and I feel really good kind of sitting in there and just kind of letting stuff go and it was actually really good. I cried a lot, which is what I do. <laughs> I also have a cancer moon, so I just cry a lot. It's just the deal. I feel everything. Um, and just, I don't know, it was just different this time. It just felt different to me that like, um, to me it felt like this time I'm ready to actually let go of a lot of the pain and just, and be free. You know what I mean? Which makes sense with kind of like Aquarius season two. Like these guys need to be free. They need to have their freedom. Um, do not try to box them in. They will escape. Like uh, you got to give these guys their space. So um, kind of looking for that freedom myself uh, while still taking care of my inner needs. How can I be an individual aside from my trauma too? Does, does that trauma really define me? No, I don't think that it does. Um, so, well, maybe in a way that like, I was able to grow and learn from it, but the trauma is not me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so good stuff this past weekend. And um, um, yeah, I'll keep going with it and keep healing and going bigger and better. And I wanna share that with you guys. See, maybe that feels weird that I'm telling you guys I'm seeing a therapist, but like, especially too for related to grief since I'm also a medium, but like, I'm still a person. Um, and I want you guys to know that like, it's not just me spitting stuff at you every week that like, I'm literally going through this stuff with you guys. Um, even if that means me having to go to a therapist and getting the help, you know, that I deserve with all my situ with, with my situation and you know, everything going on with it. So just know you guys are in a safe space and do what you need to for yourself. Nobody's judging you here. Um, and I highly, highly, highly recommend therapy and finding a good therapist for yourself so that, again, you got a safe space uh, that you can talk in um, and this person can offer you tools to help yourself to move forward. We all deserve that. All right. Enough yapping for me. <laughs> if you pick card number one, you got the Ten of Crystals and here's your beautiful card. Look at that alligator energy. Whoop, whoop. I love the spirit song tarot deck. Like I know I'm saying this every week. <laughs> I just think it's so interesting and beautiful the imagery and I love the animals on there. All right. So uh, with the 10 of crystals, I know in other decks, uh, 10 of crystals is really about building foundations. So this week, if you pick number one, this is going to be about building foundations. And with the um, addition of crystals in there, it's really asking us, uh, what are your safety and security goals? 
It's really important for you to get clear on that. If you want to build a gun foundation, if you have an idea uh, for something, a project or a business you want to create or whatever it is that you've got going on here, how can you build a solid foundation? Um, or the only way that you can build that solid foundation is by knowing what your safety and security goals are. So this week, don't be afraid to go deep. Don't be afraid to really sit down and get quiet and ask yourself those important questions. Um, you might have to go emotionally deep for yourself. You might have to go into a space that you didn't think you'd have to go to looking for your safety and security goals. But I think a lot of that is very emotional for us. Like, uh, what's really going to make me feel safe and secure in this world? What things do I need around me? What things do I want uh, to really make me feel like I've got all that I need here? So don't be afraid of the answers that come up for you this week. Again, this is helping you to build a solid foundation from which to launch yourself going forward. And I got to say with the 10 of crystals, this is more of a feeling to me of something bigger and better. Like you're almost trying to build an empire here. So um, what does that empire look like? And really, what is this all building towards? What are you working towards? So ask yourself that week, um, this week, I think that that will help you big time. 10 also uh, really is a number of completion. So something's coming to a close here that you're no longer, maybe an old way of thinking or possibly like your old safety and security goals, you're letting those things go. Something new is happening for you here. Uh, something old is closing, something new is happening. And maybe those priorities have changed. So you're due to kind of check back in and make sure that everything's on par. Um, also too, I want to say with this card, if you notice that the alligator is moving towards the right, which talks about going towards the past. So there might be a call towards the past this week. Um, even it's just to uh, reevaluate those old safety and security goals. Um, maybe you're looking at what you were told as a child about what your safety and security goals are. And you're kind of really facing that this week. Like, does this really resonate for me? Is this what I really want? Or maybe is this just what my parents want? for me. So I, I kind of want to say with this 10 of crystals this week, really focus on what it is that you want and what does your safety and security look like and how with the addition of the crystals, can you take a logical, practical, grounded way to get what you want? Um, to me, it feels like organization. To me, it feels like planning. So really sitting down and getting serious about this, take your time with it. Um, and, and yeah, just know that whatever comes your way, you can handle this. Um, does anybody fuck with the alligator? No. <laughs> so tap into that energy this week. I mean, they rule the water. So, um, and, and really water is talking about our emotions. It's talking about our intuition. It's talking about our instincts. So be the ruler of that for yourself. Don't fall into this trap of thinking that say this was about your parents and them passing down an idea to you that you've just kind of carried throughout your life without kind of questioning it really like you're the one in charge here you're you're the big guns in the water do you know what i mean like and this is your pond this is your lake this is your ocean so really and truly what do you want from all of this um and sometimes that might cause a crisis for you again don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help um but just know that whatever you choose is right for you, even if it goes against the grain. Be okay with that um, and, and feel safe inside of yourself knowing that whatever I choose for me is the right choice. Sometimes easier said than done, but I think that if you follow that and you're true to yourself, then all that happiness, all the fulfillment, all that money, all that abundance, all that prosperity that you've been looking for, once you start doing what's true to your soul, that stuff just falls into place. Just saying, my two cents. <laughs> All right. But good job this week, you guys. And really, your themes for the week are stability and attainment. So I want to say to you, your success is inevitable. It's just a matter of course. And again, with that matter of course, make sure that we're finding a practical, logical, grounded way to get from point A to point B. You got this. This ain't no thing. Remember, you're the one in power here. Okay? Good job, guys. All right, and if you pick card number two, you get the two of shells, and here's your adorable card. This is so cute. Look at those doves. <laughs> so cute. I love this. So with doves, um, there's a symbology here really of um, peace, um, 
of uh, serenity, um, especially if you're going through a hard time, you're experiencing hard things. Um, I notice a lot, um, and it's a sign from my grandfather that doves will show up if I'm going through a difficult situation. Um, they're also connected with Mother Mary as well. So there's something here about mothering, um, also taking care of that, that mother energy within yourself. Maybe possibly you are a mother. Um, so, and connection with the mother and children. So just kind of letting you know when the dove shows up, this is a sign of peace, this is a sign of serenity, that everything is going to be okay. And um, to trust in that energy, um, no matter what it looks like on the outside right now. So if you're dealing with mother and children issues, however that may be showing up for you, um, just know that everything will work itself out. Um, to me, it feels as though just have peace about the situation as much as you can and trust in the outcome that you're going for. Um, and then with shells here, the two of shells, shells is really going to be kind of uh, standing for like water. So we're talking about our emotions here. Uh, where are we emotionally? So there's a call here to be emotionally present so that we can make the best choices for ourselves in the moment. Um, if you're freaking out about the future or stuck in the past in some situation, you're not going to be here present in this very moment. The only place that you have actually power in uh, to make a good choice for yourself. So uh, do yourself a favor, get present this week. Um, I know in other decks, the two of water really kind of stands for a love relationship, um, kind of showing up on the scene as well. So if you've been looking for love or love has been like a big deal for you lately, just know that somebody should be showing up here soon for you. You should be finding your match. Um, and I do believe doves, maybe I'm totally wrong, but I thought doves mate for life. I could be totally full of shit right now, but um, there's something here about like a soulmate relationship happening or really finding uh, the perfect weirdo <laughs> to kind of align with your perfect weirdoness, you know? So just finding your person. Um, and usually with the two of uh, water, two of cups um, really is what this uh, deck stands for, or at least this suit does. Um, there's also this feeling here of kind of being carried away, but it's more of like the lust feeling more than it is like true love, but that it's talking also about the initial phase of something happening here. This can also talk about the reemergence um, of self-love for yourself or the rekindling of love between um, like an old romantic relationship. So just know that love is on, is coming back up for you this week. Um, a love relationship should present itself, even if it's from the past. Um, and it's hard to tell with this card because the birds are kind of looking both ways. So it's hard for me to say whether or not this is coming from the past or coming from the future, but really this card is making me feel like just be present in here in the moment. Does it really matter what area they're coming from as long as they're showing up for you and, and giving uh, or presenting the gift of love back to you? So even if this is just talking about your inner child or the work that you're doing with yourself, there's a reemergence of love here and really taking care of yourself um, and taking stock of where you're at um, and honoring that within yourself, even if you have a another relationship or another person comes into the scene. Make sure that you're still taking care of your individual self. Um, because even though you may be part of a team, you still are a individual um, and you need to still make sure that your goals and your things and your self care is being taken care of. So don't just give all of yourself to the other person this week or whatever situation shows up for you. Um, Make sure to take care of your needs too. Allow there to be a balance there. I think would probably be a better way of putting that. Final thing I want to say about the card is if you notice in the front of them, yeah, there's two shells and there's like some other stuff around there in front of them. Um, to me, this feels as though like pulling resources or taking uh, you and the other person's resources and kind of really looking at like, what can we work with here and what can we do? So maybe you guys are looking to get in the house. Maybe you guys are looking to start in a family. Maybe you guys are thinking about moving. Whatever is going here on here for you or maybe you're thinking about like combining bank accounts or something um you're going to be looking at your resources this week and what you both bring to the table to me it feels like this is an equal partnership so just know that whoever shows up on the scene or whatever new relationship has shown up for you in your life or whatever is rekindled for you um just know that things are finally equal now and that everybody's bringing together or putting on the table everybody's putting equal parts down um and really too within the relationship there seems to be a feeling of like um, what you're putting in, um, the other person is putting into, or what you're giving to them, they're giving back. So um, a balance, again, this theme of balance going on with really your theme this week, talking about union and harmony. So just know.
Good job. And um, if this is a, a new love relationship that shows up for you and it feels really good, enjoy the moment. Just have a good time with it. Enjoy the, the first initial, the honeymoon phase, um, and really have fun with this and hold on to it. Um, I think this is one of the more beautiful aspects of falling in love is that first initial stage where everything's amazing and the other person's a goddess or a god and they're just like, oh, like the end of the world is, it's awesome. You know what I mean? In such a good way. Um, cause man, as life goes on, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like goddess level just fades out. You know, people start farting and you know, just all the gross stuff. <laughs> just the life gets in the way. So if you've got this rekindling going on, enjoy that moment and really have fun with it. Um, and last thing I, I guess I the millionth last thing I want to say with this card go with the flow this week really and truly just go with the flow and allow to see um, or whatever energy shows up for you go with the flow say yes to it um, and just yeah really go with the flow don't fight the current and enjoy the ride okay all right and then if you pick card number three you got the ace of crystals and here's your beautiful card the little panda seriously I cannot handle how cute these cards are <laughs> Look how cute he is. I love pandas. I think I love all animals, but pandas are super cute. I don't even know what my favorite animal is. I like peacocks. I like fireflies. That's not really answering the question. Was there a question? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Ace of crystals. So whatever crystals show up in a reading, um, again, we're talking about our safety and security issues. Um, what are those for us? Um, and then really, again, with the crystals is kind of asking us like, what's a grounded, practical, methodical way that I can reach this goal? Um, with the addition of the ace, that is my yes sign. Not everybody reads the tarot that way. This is my own personal interpretation, but I want to say yes to your safety and security goals this week. So if you've had a question like, should I pursue this project? Should I do this thing? Um, I feel like this will bring me, or should I make this choice? I feel like this is a good choice and this will bring me the safety and security that I'm looking for resounding yes do the damn thing um to me for you that is my sign to say to you that yes um pay attention to that safety and security goal there's something important here that's happening um that you need to say yes to or take a hold of or start this project now um aces also talk about new beginnings so there's something really brand new happening for you here um and I want to say that prosperity and abundance are coming your way. So again, whatever project, whatever venture, whatever business that you're starting or saying yes to, um, just know that it's going to be successful. It's just a matter of course. That's all that it is. So with this new beginning, uh, what are your safety and security goals with it? And how can you honestly reach it? Um, and if you think about the panda, panda is so cute. Um, but again, there's also this theme of balance with the, their coloring with the black and the white. There's almost like a yin and yang feeling here. So how can we balance the male and female aspects of ourself? Or how can we balance the extroverted, uh, and the introverted parts of ourselves? Um, maybe when to take action, when to sit back and have patience and really pay attention to the timing of our life. Um, so when's the right time to act? Um, so really paying attention to that this week. If you notice on the card too, the little panda is facing towards the right. So there's a there's a feeling here of going back to the past again. Maybe for you, you want to start a new business, but you're not really sure what to do. My suggestion to you would be, or maybe you're looking for your passion, the real thing that you want to do with your life, but you're not sure what that is. Go back to your past. What did you want to be as a kid? I mean, all of us had something we wanted to be, even if it was something ridiculous. I think at one point in like second grade, okay. First, let me preface this by saying, I think I was trying to impress the nun that was asking me because I don't think all of this is real, <laughs> but I told her I wanted to be a model and then I wanted to be a nun. So again, I think the second part, like a model nun, is that a real thing, Sarah? <laughs> So I told her I wanted to be on stage and I wanted to act and I wanted to sing and like, and I wanted to be a model and a nun. And I'm like, I don't think all those things go together. So I think the last part was trying to, you know, you know, say that to her, but, um, think about what I'm doing here. I'm on YouTube. I'm, I'm presenting to you guys. I'm on Instagram. Like I do videos. Um, and I make sure that I connect with you guys. And I like being in this space where I, I'm able to stand in front of you guys and speak. If I'm doing gallery readings, I'm on a stage and I'm presenting in front of a group of people. Um, so yeah, just 
it may be different. Maybe what I'm saying here is that it may be a little different than what you imagined as a child, but what did you want to do? And how can you take those things that you wanted to do and really bring it uh, to what you're creating here at this point? So um, this week, we're looking at our safety and security goals. And really, your themes for the week are manifestation and prosperity. Fucking right. So <laughs> just know whatever you put your energy towards is what's going to grow here. Um, so what do you want to grow? Do you want that prosperity? And how can you find that again, go back to your childhood? What did you love to do? How can you bring that energy into the work that you're doing now to really help yourself get ahead? Um, to me, this feels like an addition of energy onto what you're already doing, even though it feels like a new beginning. Um, you may be just building upon or expanding upon something maybe that you've done before. So however this plays out for you this week, just know that if we're going to the past and we're kind of thinking about what we wanted to do as a kid, we're bringing it to the present moment. And again, everything's helping us to reach our safety and security goals. Um, like a huge safety and security goal for me is, is um, a family unit. Having a family unit um, doesn't necessarily mean that I have children, but having a family that feels like to me that is supportive and loving, I can count on them, they can count on me. Um, that's so such an important thing to me. So um, building that into my business, like I have to make sure that I make time for my family. I got to make sure that I make time for my people that I consider my, my family. Um, and, or, uh, whenever I start to go bigger and better with this business, um, I, I start to employ some of my family and bring some of my people that are like my family into it. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's a couple different ways that you can take this interpretation and, uh, with your safety and security goals and, and really do something beautiful and special for yourself, knowing that whatever you put your energy towards, you are going to manifest this. This is your yes card. So don't fuck around. Okay. Um, and then again, with that prosperity coming in and prosperity can come in different ways. What does prosperity look like to you? It may not necessarily be money. Maybe it's having all the time that you want in the world to go off and travel. Do you know what I'm saying? So how does that prosperity look to you? Be open to different interpretations and don't be afraid of what comes up for you. Um, whatever you decide, like you've got this. And I think the final thing with the panda is like, they're kind of slow. They kind of take forever. They're super adorable. Um, <laughs> but like, there's something here with patience. So take your time with this. There's no rush here. Um, really take your time and do this right. This new beginning is offering you this new doorway, this new opportunity. So um, if you're going to take it and grab it by the balls, make sure that you do it right. And that will require you to take your time. Dot all those I's, cross all those T's. Um, it's well, well worth it. All right. Good job, you guys. Kicking ass. All right. And the stone that I chose this week is green adventuring. Um, let me just show you like the little stone that I have. Isn't that sweet? The little heart. <laughs> um, so this is actually one of my personal stones that I use in my uh, boob stone bag <laughs> that I keep in my bra. Um, this is my personal one that I use for readings. Um, actually, I just wear these every day. So um, green adventuring is an awesome prosperity and abundance stone. Um, this is a very, uh, this is a good luck attractor, if you will. This is one of the stones, one of the three stones that I would recommend um, to put um, as like your prosperity and abundance kind of thing, uh, especially for a business that I would either have you put at the front door by your cash register um, or like your computer if that's where all the money is coming into. Um, green Adventuring, Citrine um, are definitely my top two favorites there. So, uh, But Green Adventuring this week is, is really good for that. And it's also too with the addition of the green color and because I loved it, it was like in the shape of a heart this really is a heart chakra centered stone so um, it's heart healing it's taking care of that space um, it's making sure that we have everything we need it's tapping into that into those needs and wants in our heart chakra and really helping us to find that abundance find that good luck uh, really helping us to align with that and attract it towards us um, this is a great stone for that and helping to find balance in our lives too, and understanding maybe too, what is the true meaning of prosperity and abundance to me, which I think is really important. It should be different for everyone that should, because everybody's got different lives. So um, this week, if you need help with that, if you're starting new opportunities, if you're doing new things, if you're feeling inspired to get out there and you need some help with uh, a little bit of, um, a little bit of a heart boost, really getting your heart into it, um, and really wanting to attract good luck to you and prosperity and abundance, grab a chunk of this um, green adventuring and keep it close to you. I would say in the chest area, 
obviously, because we're trying to keep close to that heart chakra. So on a necklace, in your bra, if you're a girl, if, you, if you're a guy and you got a pocket on your chest, just keep it in your pocket there. Um, and also too, jewelry works as well. You can wear earrings, you can wear, you know, a necklace. Um, again, any as long as we're keeping it in this area, we're good to go. All right, you guys, I so hope you would enjoy this. Um, thank you guys for joining me every week. Um, and remember, this is your week. Make it an amazing one. Thank you so much, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.